I'm gonna throw you. Uh, this is that guy on the right, and this is Let's Play Ocarina of Time. In the last episode, we found the boomerang, we killed a bunch of tentacle things, and we just... Princess Rudolph just got the spiritual stone, but why her? It's because she's a woman. It, fish, creature, with gills. Uh, she was, okay, she was upset that he swallowed it. Well, while, while she was feeding him, he suddenly swallowed me. I was so surprised when I dropped it inside. Now I found it, I don't need to be in here anymore. Let's take me home. All right, should I just stand here? Because as soon as I move, it's, yeah. It. And it goes up, and those spikes hurt him. What well, can't was this an octopus? And tentacle. She just got tentacle raped. That thing is disgusting. Okay, I need a boat to kill this thing. Ow! Come on. And here's an easy way to deal with this mini boss. You just gotta take hits. Die. That way I'm not going around in circles all the time. Oh, come on. I was hoping not to have to do that. Not have to do this. Come on. Come on. Die. You're dead now. Thank you. Come on. Thank you. Now I'm I've got full health. Because stuff. I like I like killing these octopuses. These stingy octopuses. Alright. I think there's a fairy in one of these bottles, so I'm gonna ready it. Nope. Yep, I was right. There we go. I got a full complement of fairies. Notice I have not used anything magical yet. Hmm. So, there we go. I got nuts. I got nuts and a fairy. Let's not look for Princess Rudo. You know, kind of. She's kind of useless. So. Screw it. I'll, I'll take care of you. There you go. Thank you. That thing won't be shooting me now. Because I have a hard enough time with this damn controller. And, that, and have that thing shooting at me? Messing with me? Ah. I didn't have that hard of a time. Let's go in here. Well, there's nothing to this room. Let's just jump over here. And we get an elevator. Since Rudo's not here to hold down a switch, we grab this guy. Grab one of these little guys. Yeah. She, her, yeah. She's not here to serve her purpose. So I gotta use a crate. Shame on her. And I believe this room has the very last gold Tula for this dungeon. Beery. Yeah, if you touch it, you'll be electrocuted. Not quite what I was aiming for, but right there. But, you know, I'll take it. This way they don't mess with me. I don't like me. I don't like them to mess with me. Die. Well, I'll take I'll take that one too. <laughs> And let's see if I got the last one. It should show up on the map. Yes, I did. Okay, now I remember what, what I have to do here. This th this part would be a lot easier with a spring-loaded contraption thing that can pull things toward me or pull or push things or pull me towards it but you know such a thing does not exist in this game what are you talking about let's get up here look at that skull that means we are right next to the boss the boss the boss it's kind of 
creepy. Look at that. Baronade! High electric? I need more. What? That was that word. Yeah, this. This boomerang is not as useful as the one in Wind Waker. It can only use. It can only hit, attack one target at a time. Uh, and this is where it does the spinny thing. I don't want to know what it is. I know what it is. Come on. <laughs> there we go. That that's gonna make this part a little bit easier. Ow. Because it's not gonna it's you're not gonna be able to hurt it when it's like this. Come on. Now you can hurt it. Go. Slash, slash, slash. Now it's just electricity at you. Reminds me of another game I just recently played. The enemy shooting electricity at you, and it, you have to spin around to avoid it. Yeah. <laughs> and he misses. I don't... You can't hurt it, but that, but when that part's exposed, you can. And he's dead. Made quick work of him. When I first played this when I was a kid, I thought he was transforming into some disgusting second form kind of thing. Even though I knew what laid in store, I thought it'd be like you'd get like a, a really hard boss because you're pretty much finishing a large part of the game. With this boss. Let's refill our heart container. Even though we don't really need to, because this heart container right here, we'll do the same. We'll do that. There we go. We got another heart container, and we, and we can see if we can find some more. Well, she's ticked off. You're late. What took you long, so long? You're useless. I was just lonely, that's all. She is soon there. Yep. She is soon there. It's not like I like you, Baka. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. And he falls in the water. Ah, she's good. Ah, no. I don't hear, I don't hear Zora's playing banjos, so I don't know if I'm gonna get raped. You, you look so cool, cooler than I thought you would, anyway, just a little. Anyway, you saved me, so I guess I'll reward you. Well, you want, what do you wish? Just tell me. I want that spiritual stone! You mean the spiritual stone of water? Zora's sapphire? No. My mother gave it to me and said I should give it only to the man I, who will be my husband. You might call it the Zora's engagement ring. Alright! I'll give you the most precious possession, Zora's Sapphire. You don't need to do this. You could just take it out of your pocket and, like, hand it to me. You don't have to be so theatrical about it. Alright, well, whatever floats your boat. And there's our last spiritual stone. There's some things I want to tie up before I go back. Go, you know move on to the next part of the game so yeah we're gonna try to get some more heart containers you don't know what, you know what she's you don't know what she's talking about but you finally collected all three spiritual stones go back to see princess Zelda no not for a while she can she can go get screwed don't tell my father yeah <laughs> all right there's some things I want to take care of in this area first Namely, something over this way. And, okay, we entered the mouth, but we didn't come out the mouth. Did he just, did he poop us, did he poop us out? Was that Baronade a, 
a colon monster, a colon parasite. It's kind of disturbing. And I took out the entire wall. That's amazing. The Great Fairy's Fountain. Let's go. Oh, you... Eh. There. Thank you. Thank you very much. And get ready for the eye bleach. Why do we... I still say, Nintendo, why did you do this? Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. <laughs> this is <war> <laughs> Feyor's wind! This warp magic you can use with C. Warp when you're in danger. You will teleport to the warp point. When you first use the magic, you will create a warp point. When you use the magic again, you can either dispel the warp point you created last time, or warp to that point. Quite handy. I will probably be using it. So, in dungeons I have a dungeon map hidden inside. So, not the ice cavern. Sadly. When battles made you weary, please come back to see me. You know, because, you know, that would make, that would make so much sense to, you know, limit you to only certain, only dungeons. Especially since I got, like, six more to go. Yep, six more dungeons. This heck, I think this ha this game has the most dungeons in any Zelda game. So, gosh, I think I have to go around. And then there's the ice cavern. You can't get in there yet unless you know how to do bomb hovering, and I don't. So. And it's pointless to go in there. I don't even think you can do anything in there. I don't know, I could be wrong. But of course, I don't think they would create an entire area just, uh, you know, just in case someone were to glitch their way in. So. It's probably icy in there. And you're a child going in there. Would the game crash if you tried to go in there? I am confused. So, uh... I'm gonna end this episode right here, so... In the next episode, we will be doing some side quests. And see if we can get some heart pieces. So, this is that guy on the right, signing off. Be right back.